So you want to make caves, right? But you don't know where to start. You look at all those pictures of caves and they all seem so complex and there's lots of things going on in there that you don't even know where to start tackling something like this. But what if I told you there's a simple way of creating any cave you want, like literally any cave you want. And it's not complex, it's not difficult, and it's in fact pretty fucking simple. And all you have to do is follow these three principles. So the first thing you need is to know exactly how you want your cave to look like. This is pretty straightforward, but a lot of people skip this step and they go directly into building the environment without having a clear vision of how they want that environment to look like, resulting in a lot of dead time. So what I'm doing right now is using extremely simple meshes to block out the general shape and look of my cave. Right now I think I'm building like literally the simplest cave I could come up with, which is a simple ground floor and the walls that also play the role of a roof. I'm subdividing my meshes a few times so I have enough geometry to work with and move those vertices around as I need. Once my simplest possible block out is done, it's time to move on into the second step. So the next step to this technique is to get your block out and get some manual sculpting done in order to get some more detail into, into your shapes. Make sure you've got plenty of geometry to work with and then just start sculpting. You don't need any experience with it, since we are not actually sculpting for details, but rather for adding more uh, organic shapes to our objects. Here you see me rising the ground where it meets the walls, so that there's a bit of blending happening between those, and lowering the middle part of it to make it look like it's a natural path. I'm playing around with the lighting direction a little bit before doing some sculpting to the walls as well. Now I moved on to the walls and I'm really doing the exact same thing I did to the floor simply sculpting some more shape to the object to make it look more organic and natural. It's now time to get some rocky textures and move on to the next and last step. So this last step is the one that will actually take your scene and turn it into an actual cave. I'm talking about displacements. You just saw me go into Quixel and grab a cliff texture which I plan on using for those walls and ground. I apply the material to the cave walls and I make sure the scaling looks nice and natural. I then use a displacement modifier which is using the UVs and the displacement texture of that material. Keep in mind that you will need lots of polygons for the displacement to look nice and sharp, so bump those subdivision levels up until it looks perfect. You will get into having millions of polygons, but that is perfectly normal when working with displacements. After this, I simply repeat the process for the ground with a new rocky material. And this is pretty much it. This is how you get any cave you want. However, stopping right here would be an injustice to our work, and we can make this better. I'll grab a couple of small rocks from Quixel, I'll duplicate those a bunch around in the air, and using rigid bodies I'll simulate those falling over so I can get some realistic and natural placement of those rocks on my ground. The background of this scene looks too empty for my liking, so I'm getting a big rock asset from Quixel and place it around the back to get some silhouettes showing up and break the light in a nice way. And now my cave is done. I rendered it out, done a bit of a post-processing, and this is what I ended up with. And alright, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say that I've pretty much made the simplest cave that I could make. So what about more complex caves? Well, just because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna take you through the process of me building a more complex cave more complex cave scene just to reiterate the fact that it's literally the same process so you just follow the three principles and you're gonna make any fucking cave that you want let's see it okay so as you can see this is my block out i've done there's a bit more stuff going on here but still nothing crazy just planes and cubes this is the first step blocking out the environment now i'm starting to detail this block out and actually turn those plays into stairs as they should be and then get straight into the sculpting phase
And now, as you already know, we get into step 3, and that is displacement. I'm looking around for a nice material I want, and then go apply it to my cave and displace those meshes. And now it's time to put the lighting in place. Finally, I end up with something that looks like this. 